In today's episode, Matthew asks, a client asked me to attach a dollar value to social media posts reach. How do you value social media posts? Is it just the cost of the post if you boosted it with ads? Ah, an old enemy returns from the grave. Uh, Long-time PR professionals should be shaking their heads on this one. This is a concept called ad value equivalence. Uh, back in the old days when people still read paper newspapers uh, in, at in great numbers, the way that some uh, public relations folks would value the, the story would be, okay, if you, if you substituted the amount of space on the page that the story about your client took up uh, with what it would cost to purchase that space as an ad, uh, that's the value of the story. This was, of course, a stupid way of valuing uh, public relations. Matthew's question is add value equivalence in different clothing. Uh, it is saying, okay, the value of a social post, the reach it gets, which is a proxy for attention, is what it would cost to buy it. The reason why add value equivalence is a bad measure of any form of media, old media, new media, social media, doesn't matter, is that it assumes that the the value of a piece of media is equivalent to its cost, the opportunity cost for the publication to put something else in that space. Now, in the early days of social media, we would say, of course, you know, space is infinite, but we know that's not true. There's a limited number of uh, ad slots available on a Facebook feed or an Instagram feed uh, compared to the number of advertisers. So that's not it. What, what's wrong with this concept, and it is a very old concept that just keeps coming up over and over again, is that it makes the assumption that value equals cost and uh, that's not true the value of a piece of media is the business result that it generates so if you care about awareness then yes the you may want to use views or reach as a measure if you care about engagement people actually interacting with a piece of media that you've created that's a very different number right a million people could have seen a post but if no one commented on it did it ever have any actual impact? Think about how you use a mobile device, right? You're sitting there, you just sort of scroll, 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 scroll. Yes, that counts as a view, even if the person can't re recall anything about uh, your your company or your brand. Things like brand recall matter a great deal more for th measuring the effectiveness of a piece of media. Hey, you read this story or this Facebook post or this ad or this Instagram image about this coffee shop. Name a coffee shop. And if the person who just read that story can't remember the name of a coffee shop other than like, you know, mega chain, your story had no impact. Your media had no impact. Uh, if you measure on things like lead, uh, lead conversion, uh, on-site traffic, uh, physical brick and mortar traffic, all of these are things that are business metrics that you want to be able to run attribution analysis to work back into to say, okay, this combination of, of channels, and this combination of media and these combinations of days and times and all the attributes that you use to gather information about your marketing program, all that mathematically will lead to a result. And you get to that by running, it is formally called attribution analysis and the mathematics behind it, depending on which system you use, um, will dictate whether something is actually working or not. But simply swapping in the cost to reach people for the value of reaching people is the completely wrong way to do it. And this is not a knock on Matthew's question. Matthew is asking a question that is his client is asking him. The way to do it is with attribution analysis. Now some forms of attribution are readily accessible. So if you were to go into Google Analytics, for example, assuming your goals and your goal values are set up correctly and, and valued properly, um, there are attribution models uh, at the bottom of the conversions menu on the left hand side and you can choose from five or six built-in models and you can go to the Google Analytics gallery and select more models. If you want to get even more sophisticated you can put all of this stuff into uh, a massive database and use machine learning and statistics and data science to extract out what your, uh, what your true attribution is. That requires a bit more background on statistics and mathematics, of course, but it is a doable thing. It is something that people are able to do today. Uh, it's not something theoretical. And then, of course, uh, for if you want to get really, really uh, advanced, there are separate products and services and companies just dedicated to attribution analysis. One of them 
that uh, you probably uh, would be most familiar with would be Google Attribution, uh, which is part of the Google Analytics 360 suite. It is an expensive piece of software, but if you're spending, if you're trying to figure out where you want to spend your 80 million dollars in in TV and ad and display and and digital uh, advertising and and what resources you want to hire for the cost per month of that software is probably quite reasonable it's just a, a fraction of a percent compared to you know tens or hundreds of millions of dollars in media spent so can you substitute the value of a post for the cost of the post no what should you do instead find an attribution method and model that works for your business that's affordable uh, and that will give you a much closer answer to what's actually working Great question, Matthew. Difficult question. I recognize that you know if you don't have a whole lot of gray in your in your hair, uh, you may not have seen this particular beast uh, crop up before in your career. But know that this has been something that has been debated for decades upon decades as a way of valuing media, and the general consensus among those folks who specialize in measurement is that it is probably the worst form of measurement. I will say that. If you have absolutely no other measurement capability and you have no other way of uh, providing any kind of analytics, then you could use this as a last resort. But that would mean that the company itself has no understanding of its business goals or metrics, and you should probably find a different company to work for because they're doomed. Uh, if they if they have no idea what their business goals are, then <laughs> they're doomed. Um, once you know your company's business goals add value equivalence goes out the window. Um, so great question. As always, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and the newsletter, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. If you want help with your company's data and analytics, visit BrainTrustInsights.com today and let us know how we can help you.